All right, guys, so this is it, just straight out the pack, right? Now I'm going to pass my comb through it. Now I know normally they say, oh, whatever, don't use the pre-style, la, la, la. Okay, I was gonna try to put something in it without taking it down to see what it looked like, but I already messed it up. So, looks like I'm gonna have to. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of a bummer. I didn't want to take that down yet. I want to try a hairstyle with it, hold up. Okay, so let me go ahead and undo this one and do it again because this one did turn out a little cuter, like a little more oomphy. Now, this little pack of these and I want to give it a go. So let's see what we do. What colors do you think? I think I want to do, I don't know. I kind of feel like blue and pink, but it just broke on me. Oh my God, these are from Walmart and I guess they're like super ghetto or something because it just broke apart on me. So just be aware of that if you go buy these at Walmart. <laughs> Can you hear that? They're breaking apart. Basically, these pieces are like coming apart in the pink one. I was hoping that highlight is broken, but you can't. All right, but at least you get the idea, right? This is my first time trying a Zuri wig, a Zuri Sis wig. It's kind of cool because it's a good experience, honestly. And I've heard, okay, Zuri Sis, if you're hearing this, don't feel offended. You know, sometimes uh, we need to take criticism. It's a constructive thing. But I've heard a lot of criticism about Zuri Sis wigs that the construction isn't good. And from what I've seen, like in other review videos, it didn't really seem that way. But I guess this one, is one of the better ones. So I got lucky. Um, it's beautiful. Now I know I'm never getting, I'm just gonna get the regular ball ones because these things suck. And it's this one, by the way. So if you ever see them, now you know. Okay, so I took off the rubber bands. Now let's go ahead and brush it out better. I'm using my white tooth comb. And I normally always spray down the wigs with some got to be, but I'm gonna be doing a second review on another wig today. So I was just like, no, I'm just gonna try and see what it gives um, without spraying it down. Plus this is one of those wigs that barely has lace, so. I feel like so annoying to spray down, honestly. All right, so you gotta make sure and play with the bangs to get them right. You see this motion, you gotta just like feather it out if you like that effect, which I'm liking. I think the bang really frames my face well. I love this blue, oh my God. This blue is so pretty. Okay, so let's get into it. The texture of this hair is, it's definitely silky, it's not yakky, but it's not silky like Barbie doll hair, but maybe starting to lean towards that, but not there yet, okay? So that's what it is. I, I really, like it, I feel like it's like a glueless vibe. I just played with the sides, how I told you, but the bangs covers it. It does have combs, I didn't put the combs in. If I really wanted to, I could spray it down the sides. But it feels secure enough where I feel good. I do have a wig grip on. It does look a little bit wiggy. I mean, they're gonna know you're wearing a wig if you have this on. But it doesn't look like a clown, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't look party city. I did already put foundation in the part. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. I don't think I need to put powder in it. And I'm not a fan of a super straight, 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 perfect line because 
<coughs> I normally don't use my hair like that anyway. I normally have it, you know, has some like natural imperfections. Um, so I don't mind that. Even like these little wispy hairs, I feel like all of that just adds like a natural vibe. But I love the contrast in the hair. This blue is beautiful. Um, maybe this isn't the right blue shirt to wear with it, but I'll figure it out. This is definitely a look, something to, you know, wear for a specific outfit. It's not really an everyday in my opinion, but it's pretty and I really didn't have to do anything here. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. You know, I could have made it more flatter, but I think it looks good. Let's see, is it big head friendly? I would say yes, it is. It definitely has a stretchy cap, so you should be able to put it on top of like, you know, if you have a lot of hair or if you just have a big head, you know, everyone has different sizes heads, then it should work out fine for you. Um, it does feel secure just with the wig grip, so this is definitely a glueless, solu um, a glueless solution, yeah. Okay. You could just put it on and go. It almost feels too quick, <laughs> the video. But you know, it is what it is. This is what we're getting. Let me know what you think, if you're feeling it. Much love, bye.